Hi, so this is part two of uh, the little video uh, that I just put out. I wanted to condense everything into one video, but I'm using my camera and it has for some reason a 30 minute uh, cutoff. So um, uh, that's basically it. Yeah, Wiley claimed to be what they call Galactic Commander or the commander of the mothership for humanity. And he said that, that basically he came here to gather information so that he could bring it to the world above this world and oversee the Ascension project to make sure that it was a flawless project. And in that, when he was here on Earth, he gathered information that he needed to bring above this world um, uh, specifically about the bad guys and the problems of the world because he said it was a real problem that the beings um, above this world don't really have any problems and can't really see any problems so it's very hard for them to understand how we all got stuck here so Wiley came to gather the information um, about what has humanity or had humanity stuck uh, he came to fix the problems that the Syrians created in enslaving humanity and um, and move above, back above this world uh, to oversee the Ascension Project. And he said basically the being that people know as God, you could more call commander, a commander. And he said that humanity basically has one, you know, mothership and that he was, he is the commander of that mothership and he'll be overseeing the Ascension Project through the year 2064, I believe. So up until 2065, he said that he would be the one considered to be God or commander or, you know, the sort of president of the Ascension Project. And, um, and that's what Wiley said about himself. Uh, so I hope everyone enjoyed these videos. I wanted to really put them out so that other things within the Breatharian Institute can move forward. I had to just say all of this so that it can be clear and I can just point people in this direction. I realize that the trolls will come out of the woodwork, um, you know, for this, this and, and everything that I do, the trolls come out of the woodwork because basically they are a parasitic being who doesn't offer anything or bring anything to the table. They go to other people's work to try and destroy it and bring it down because they don't bring anything of quality uh, to anybody. So uh, if you're a troll and you're watching this, you should troll on, you know, go ahead and do whatever it is that you feel you need to do. Because the energy that, that you know, the trolls wrap themselves up in is, is in, in this case of the Institute and Wiley, is so much bigger than them. And so, you know, I invite the trolls, you guys should do your thing because not only is Wiley, you know, handling all of these kind of things, but Wiley always said too that these people who think that they're catching us in their nets, you know, that there's a much bigger net that's so big they can't even see it. And they're all being captured. So Wiley said too, here's another thing that Wiley said is that all the bad guys who are doing anything bad from spraying chemtrails or, you know, weather engineering or uh, whatever you want to call it, that um, basically that these uh, people all have a mark on them that that everything that they do that is diabolical creates a mark on their souls that they absolutely cannot remove there's nothing they can do to remove those marks and um, that essentially they have to pay uh, they have to pay you know ma'at or the the balance has to come one way or another so they'll pay in this life or you know they'll pay in the next but they'll pay you know there's no way in hell they can get away from their own creation so trolls should just troll on you you should come on and say whatever you want to say i believe in freedom you know um and uh so did wiley so at that thank you very much i really really appreciate everybody coming and being a part of uh this uh project and platform uh, one last thing that I want to just say that Wiley was very distinct. He told me 10,000 times, it seems, that he and I are one, you know. He said that so many different ways, that we are the same being. So, in a way, Wiley hasn't gone anywhere. You know, he enlivened something in my DNA. Here's one more point that I'm really glad we're getting to this. The very last time that I saw Wiley in the flesh, he insisted that I call him Guru. Now, I never did, but Wiley definitely got the last laugh because now I understand that Wiley is definitely uh, my guru. 
because now I've done the studying to know what a guru is. It's a guru, um, I actually study Sadhguru because Sadhguru, S-A-D-H-G-U-R-U, is to me a, a very enlightened example to the world. You always can tell what someone does with their money as to, you know, how enlightened they are. You know, most people, you know, have their money, have their billions, they do what they want. Sadhguru puts his whole foundation to cleaning the rivers and helping people, planting trees. Um, he's a great example to the world, which is really how we create the world that we want to live in is always going to be through example. So, um, Wiley planted a seed inside of me, which is what Sadhguru's guru did. Sadhguru said, I'm powerless to walk away from my guru. And it's the very same thing with Wiley, who's my guru. I'm just powerless to leave this lineage, you know. It was a seed of, you know, knowledge, information, energy that was planted in me that, that completely dominates my life. And this is why I always say, welcome to the Breatharian Institute, because the Breatharian Institute has completely dominated every cell of my being. So, um, uh, again, I think, I think that's it. I think this brings it to completion. And now I'll point everybody in this direction if they're wondering who Wiley is. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'll come forth later on with some of my opinions and stories of other people and stuff, but I wanted to keep this very succinct to what Wiley said that he was. All right, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll talk soon, God willing. Peace.